Welcome to 195 Broadway. Located in the heart of downtown, 195 Broadway offers 29 stories of Class A luxury office space. With a rich history, 195 Broadway tells a story far beyond just appearance. Iconic is the best word to describe 195 Broadway. When walking into the lobby, you get a feeling far different than that of any other piece of real estate. The large columns and sleek marble floors brings one back to a time before modern skyscrapers. Enriched by its long and impressive history, 195 Broadway remains one of the most iconic buildings in Manhattan. This building serves more than just office space. It is a contributing factor to the beauty that exists downtown. People often stroll into the building to simply admire its astonishing features. Just one block east of the newly designed World Trade Center complex and across the street from the construction of the Fulton Street Transportation Center, 195 Broadway has a bright future. 195 Broadway was constructed in three main phases dating back from 1916 to 1922. AT&T designed the building to serve as their main headquarters. The massive columns and impressive statues help represent the power of AT&T as a leading global telecommunications corporation. The leading architect behind the building's unique structure was William W. Bosworth, who designed the John D. Rockefeller estate. William Bosworth designed the Fulton Street wing of the building and can be attributed to the layers of gray granite columns in Doric and Ionic styles. Today, 195 Broadway is a landmark site and is one of the most iconic buildings in Manhattan. The building occupies the entire Broadway block between Fulton Street and Day Street. Purchased by L&L Holding and GE Pension Trust back in 2000, L&L Holding felt that 195 Broadway was not being utilized to its full potential. Eastill Secured LLC was retained as the exclusive placement agent to arrange for the equity recapitalization of 195 Broadway. After the horrific events of 9-11-2001, many firms decided to move uptown and the downtown area became a ghost town. Rents downtown dropped to a record low and vacancy rates were at an all-time high. The financial crisis made the situation only worse as firms went bankrupt and absorption was almost non-existent. However, starting in 2009, we've slowly watched the rehabilitation of the downtown area. Larry Silverstein, real estate developer at Silverstein Properties, has large plans underway to redevelop the World Trade Center complex. By completion, the buildings will add 10 million square feet of office space to the downtown area and is expected to add 100,000 office workers. Not only will the redevelopment add office space, but tourism surrounding 195 Broadway is expected to reach 12 million people a year. With the addition of the Fulton Street Transportation Center, and the World Trade Center Transportation Hub, the area is now home to 55,000 residents. With the overall economy looking progressively better, rents Midtown have also increased. This will only help 195 Broadway as more companies move downtown in search of lower rents. 195 Broadway has more character and history than most other competing buildings in the area. With 970,000 rentable square feet and a typical floor plate of 40,000 square feet, 
195 Broadway offers large sized firms luxury office space at a rent significantly cheaper than Midtown. The building is equipped with 24-7 building access with a high-end security system checking identification cards at each entrance. Each floor contains double hung windows that were replaced in 1985 to give great views of the surrounding downtown area. 22 passenger elevators are grouped into three banks to quickly get tenants to their respective floors. The location of 195 Broadway is convenient for both local residents and commuting workers. 195 Broadway is arguably the most transit accessible building in Lower Manhattan. Located adjacent to the new Fulton Street Transit Center, transit times to Midtown transportation hubs such as Grand Central Terminal can be as short as 10 to 15 minutes during rush hour. The building is also within close proximity to 13 of the city's main subway lines. Furthermore, the building is within one block from the Calatrava Path Station at the World Trade Center. Aside from transportation, 195 Broadway is surrounded by great shopping and fine dining. A Century 21 sits on the corner of Church Street making it easily accessible for tenants coming and leaving work. One block away is the beautiful 9-11 Memorial and Park that can be a great spot for workers to take a lunch break. 195 Broadway is currently 79% leased and is comprised of nearly 1 million rentable square feet. The building features large floor plates typically containing approximately 40,000 square feet per floor with 32,000 square feet of usable space. This makes 195 Broadway attractive to larger sized firms that other buildings simply do not have the room for. Of the 79% square feet leased, Thomson Reuters accounts for 45% or roughly 430,000 square feet. Thomson Reuters is a financial data firm and was ranked as Canada's leading corporate brand in 2010. Other notable tenants include the Omnicom Group and Havas Worldwide, who occupy 23% and 7% respectively. On the lobby level is a Starbucks and attached to the Church Street wing is the Millennium Hilton Hotel. Interestingly, 195 Broadway is now becoming home to firms outside of the financial sector. The Knot, for example, is an online wedding website that recently signed a lease for two floors in the building, showing that the area is attracting not just financial firms, but also technology and publishing firms. The average rent at 195 Broadway is $43.98, just below the downtown overall average of $45.24. This is partly due to the fact that Thomson Reuters pays $42.24 per square foot. However, their lease expires in 2015, which will likely bump up the building's average rent. The vacant floors in the building are located on the upper floors, meaning they have the best views and the best lighting. Furthermore, 195 Broadway has a very unique history. The architecture is unseen in competing buildings in the surrounding area. The only buildings nearby that don't lack in quality to 195 Broadway are the newly constructed Seven World Trade Center and other World Trade Center towers under development. However, while the World Trade Center will introduce 10 million square feet of office space to the area, it is being marketed at rental rates double to that of 195 Broadway and therefore should not be concerned. 
Downtown rents have historically always been lower than Midtown, and with Midtown rents increasing dramatically, it is predicted that many firms will begin to make the move downtown. In terms of future plans for the building, 195 Broadway has some major adjustments in store. L&L Holding has always purchased buildings that they felt were not being used to their full potential, and 195 Broadway is no different. Plans have recently been approved to add retail to both the lobby floor and basement floor A. With the building of the new World Trade Center development, tourism is expected to be at an all-time high during the upcoming years. The area has also seen an increase in the residential sector, with 55,000 people calling downtown home. Lastly, retail space will be incorporated on the top floor of the basement to serve as merchandising or dining space. The basement level sits at the same elevation as the 4-5 subway platform, which would enable l l Holdings to create a direct connection to the subway and Day Street subterranean passenger corridor that will eventually provide connectivity to the World Trade Center. With the increased revenue from the future retail and the growing interest in the downtown market, 195 Broadway has a bright future. Firms from all different industries are starting to make their way downtown. Rents are expected to increase and vacancy should not be a problem in the future.